Hello, welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions. Now, as you can see, today I am standing <laughs> because we are going to be doing Do I Have That Book Challenge. There's a new one that's been going around and it, and it occurred to me that I want to do it, but it makes no sense making a sequel when I'm not even made the original. So, this is an unfortunate angle. I don't want to <laughs> explain how, actually, I got my phone to even stand in this way. So. I'm going to be going through the challenges. I'm going to have to start a stopwatch on my iPad, wherever the fuck it is. And then we're going to hope for the best. This is going to be quick as I search and there's going to be commentary, but yeah, obviously I'm going to explain the books in the end because this is a timed challenge. So why am I rambling? <laughs> if you're a part of booktube, you already probably know what this is. So let's get on into it. I started the stopwatch, so let's just go. I'm going to subtract in the end. So let's go. Do you have a book with the decal edges? I know I do, but I can't bloody remember which one it is. I, I even know these questions. Why haven't I thought of this before? Decal edges. Where do we have decal edges? Are you kidding me? Is this decal edges? No, it's not. It's really not. Pardon. <laughs> do I have decal edges? Oh my god. See? I am already failing. This is an excellent beginning. Please tell me I have this, this deckled edge. No, no, it's not. Come on, I know I have a book with deckled. This, this can count. I don't care. This, this will count. I am making a mess out of my shelves right now, but yes, we have a book. Next question. What do we have? Three or more people on the cover. Please tell me that this is going to be obvious. Yes, yes, yes. Jordan, please don't. Yes. Thank you. Next, we have based on another fictional story. So, like a retelling. Do I have retellings? I'm not sure. Seriously, which of these is retelling? Am I stupid? Please don't answer that. <laughs> Do I have a retelling? Oh, yeah. Haven't read it. But I do. Next, let's just speed through this. Title that is ten letters long. I know, I know the one that everyone picks. So I'm going to try and pick another one. <laughs> let's see. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, no, no. No. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, come on. No. This is stressing me out. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I, I'm probably going to use the one that everyone uses, but I'm trying to find a better one. Definitely not. This is so stressful. Oh my god. No. No, it's not. <laughs> Why is nothing ten letters long? No. No. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that. I'm just gonna use the one that everyone uses and move on. <sighs> this is stressful. Starts and ends with the same letter. Fine. Fine, let's go. We can do this one. Come on. It shouldn't be that difficult. No. No. No, no, no. That one would sort of be cheating, <laughs> but I don't care. I'm still gonna have to tidy up my shelf. This is not good. Be one clip in case I screwed it up, so we have two. Anyway, quickly, mass market paperback. <laughs> I have a billion of those. So, which one do I want to use? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, I don't want to use the same one twice, so let's go with this one. Quick, 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 quick. What else? Oh, I'm so stressed and I'm not even competing. Author using a pen name. Do I have that? <laughs> Author using a pen name? Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Why am I looking on this shelf? I don't know anyone using a pen. No, this is not good. This is not good. Who is using a pen name? Is there anyone? 
besides the obvious one that I know from everyone else's video, is anyone using a pen name? Or am I just stupid and I don't know? I mean, fine, I'll go for the obvious one. I don't have an option for this, but if I remember one, I'm gonna say it later. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, character's name in the title, I mean... This would be an obvious pick, but let's see if I have anything else. Character's name in the title. Maybe not. No. no. Oh, actually, here we go. This turned out better than I could have hoped. Next, we've got two maps in it. Don't all fantasy books have two maps? <laughs> or is that just... Wait. Don't all books have two maps? Maybe that's just wishful thinking. I can't use them twice. Oh my god, this is hell. I know Jordan has two maps. But in which book? <laughs> I read it only once. I can't be expected to know those. Alright, maybe Harry Potter. Hang on. Does it have two maps? At least special editions? No, this is only a map of Hogwarts. Is there another map? No, there isn't. God damn it. No, that has one map. Oh my god, why is this so stressful to me? <laughs> this game is not supposed to be that stressful. I think... Memory of Light have two maps, please have two maps. I think it does, but like. Here I am just flipping through quickly. I think it has two maps, it has to. Like near the ending. It has the first map, and then there's a different map, like 700 and something pages. Where is it? Oh no! <laughs> I don't have time for flipping through. I think the first one where they go to. Please, please have two maps. Please. I know there's one in the beginning because it's a normal book. Please have another map. Do they go to Tarval in book two or is that book three? I hate not knowing stuff. No, <laughs> this is such a fail. Is there another book that has two maps? Oh my god, you won't go back. So, anyway, this has turned out to be a failure. So, <laughs> yes, this is definitely not good. And now I'm just straight up panicking. So, let's go to the TBR shelf. Do these have multiple maps? There's, yes. Excellent. Haven't read the book. Then we've got, oh my god. <laughs> book turned into a TV show. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, book turned into a TV show. Don't bloody have any, do I? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have to have at least one. Have to. Maybe on the bottom shelf. Fine. This is sort of a cop out, but here we are. Next, we have. Why is there so many questions? Written by someone originally famous elsewhere. I don't have that clock on the cover. Clock on the fucking cover. I don't think I have anything with a clock on the cover, but watch me being proved wrong. No, I don't think so. Do Harry Potter books have clocks on them? Hang on. No, of course it doesn't have a fucking clock. <laughs> Why would it? Oh, this one has to. Yes. Please. Please have a clock on the cover. I'm gonna count. It's gonna count. 
Next, come on, quickly, quickly. This is gonna be like 30 minutes. Mm, poetry book. Yes, yes, I've got those. I have multiple, but where's the one that I wanna count? All right, let's go with this one. Excellent, we've got Award stamp. I don't think I have anything with an award stamp. I, yeah, I don't think that exists <laughs> around here. Maybe like, no. There's something where, oh, wait, no. I'm gonna count this as an award stamp. I don't care. Let's go on quickly. Same author initial sends me. That is not going to happen, I think. So, oh my god. Oh my god. K and L. I don't think that exists. I really don't think that exists, but... K and bloody L. I know, I don't think so. Well, we're gonna say no because I really don't know and I'm starting to get pissed off so let's say no then we've got short stories yes I've got short stories hang on do I want to go with the obvious one or do I pick something less obvious <laughs> let's go with I don't know let's go with obvious for now because seriously I am getting so pissed off Next, we've got 500 to 510 pages long. I forgot how stupid this challenge is. Why did I do this to myself? 100 to 510. Let's go. <laughs> what could be that long? I don't think this is even 500, so no. I'm not even going to look at Jordan for this. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. 510, oh dear lord, why is this so stressful, uh, could this be that long, it's definitely not longer, I know these aren't 500 pages, uh, definitely longer than 500, is this like 600, yep, 600, not good. Why is this so difficult? Is this please? No, almost 600. Do I have any books that are even that short? No. Definitely not. Do I have something that short? This is so stressful. Come on, come on, come on. 500 pages. Is this even 500? No, it's not, of course. It's either too short or way too long. So you see 500 pages, come on. No, <laughs> so close though. So close, so close. Come on! So close. Epilogue? Yes. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Book that was turned into a movie. God damn it. <laughs> what was turned into a movie without it being too obvious? Or do I even care about it being obvious at this point because I've had enough? <laughs> let's go, let's go. Not a movie, definitely not a movie. You know what, let's go with an interesting choice. Yes, this is gonna be a fun one to explain. A uh, graphic novel. I'm gonna pick up another one, clearly, so we don't use the same one. There. And last question. Thank you, Lord. Book written by two or more authors. I am not sure I have that, but let's go. Two or more authors. Oh, I see one, but I'm not sure if I want to use it. <laughs> So let's see if there's another one by more than one author. 
Well, we could use this, but that would sort of be a cop out. <laughs> Do we want to cheat? I mean, it is technically <laughs> more than one author, but it's not one book. So, what do I do? Do I use the obvious one that's staring me in the face? I mean, I could. Now I'm just stalling at this point. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cheat, and that's that. So, I think those are all the questions. So now I'm gonna sit down and show you the books. I'm back with a stack of books. So, without any further ado, let's see what I picked. And I'm doing my best to hide the thing I use to hold up my phone. So, let's just get into it. Alrighty, let's just speed through so it's not a 30 minute video that I have to edit. We have Deckled Edges. This, Deckled Edges, I think it counts. It's not technically a book. But I am counting it. It's the Jedi Guidebook. Definitely. Deckled edges. Right. Let's go on. Three or more people on the cover. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to go in line because <laughs> I didn't arrange the books in line. And my hair sucks today. So please bear with me on that. Let's just go in order of the books and how I stacked them. So, right. I'm trying to find the name. Character's name and the title. I found the testament to Loki, thank god. <laughs> I thought I would never find this, but I forgot about the gospel of Loki that's still on my nightstand for like two months. But I have the sequel, definitely has the title, here it is, so it counts. Haven't read it, but I remembered it, so thank you. <laughs> thank you heavens, or whatever. And then we have clearly the one that everyone used, <laughs> and I don't know why, and which is like... The title has ten letters, we have six of crows, that's the one that everyone used and I didn't have time to find a better alternative because I would have probably lost my mind. So yes, we have six of crows. Then next we have a poetry book, which I have many, but I picked this one, which is just the short poetry book by Keats. This is the one. I have like a couple more of these small ones, I have one that's Poe. I love poetry, so clearly I have them, and Keats is one of my favorites, so yes, we have a poetry book. Then we've got a book with an award on it, and this doesn't count as an award stamp, but Watchmen has this, like, winner of the Hugo Award, so I'm going to count that as <laughs> an award stamp because I have nothing else, so this is the best that we have. Also. I just realized that I'm stupid, but this has a clock on the cover. That's alright. Right, next. We've got this, which I used for clock on the cover, and that's 359 by Gretchen McNeil. I mean, this technically is a clock, it's just not a normal clock. <laughs> so, this is like a, an analog one, is that the word? This is an analog clock, so yes, I am counting it. And this saved my ass because I thought I would lose. But now we saw that Watchmen has a clock on the cover. So I am a genius. So yes, this counts for the clock. Then we've got, what else? This, which I think I used for, turned into a TV show. Yeah. It was dreadful. I never even finished the TV show, and I hadn't even read the book, so that tells you everything. But yeah, this was definitely a TV show. Yeah, Cassandra Clare actually, like, saved my ass multiple times during this challenge. Next, we've got two maps. We've got this. I haven't read it. I don't really want to, but it's still on my shelves, and it still has two maps. So we've got one map and two maps don't want to read it probably won't <laughs> but for now it is here and it is here to save us so what else have we got next we have a collection of short stories again i use the cop out one which is language of thorns by lee bardugo i have more than this but this was just easiest it was within reach and it 
came to mind first. It's a collection of short stories within the Grishaverse, so this was an obvious one, and I actually have read this one, and I loved it. So, yeah, I don't know. It kind of fits. I know everyone uses it, but it fits, so who cares? <laughs> then we've got, what else? Mass Market Paperback. I buy my books used and as cheap as I can find them, so I have Mass Market Paperbacks. One of them is Red Seas Under Red Skies. Clearly, it's small, tiny. It's very rigid. Like, look at this. <laughs> Mass Market Paperback. Yeah, I don't love them, but I still have them because I'm cheap. So, <laughs> here we are. What else have we got? This. What did I use that for? I think I used that for pen name because apparently Cassandra Clare is a pen name, which I didn't know because I don't care about her. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's the pen name. So we're using City of what? Ashes? Yeah. City of Ashes, which I haven't read yet. So <laughs> again, another Salvation by Cassandra Clare. Then we've got ends and starts with the same letter. This one I was actually kind of proud of. The Hobbit. <laughs> starts with T and ends with T and yeah, as soon as I laid my eyes on it, I was like, yes. I haven't seen anyone use this yet, so it counts and I was pretty proud of myself for this one, so yes. The Hobbit. Then we have this, which is for a retelling, I think. And that is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Haven't read it one, two, when it's a bit more wintry. But yeah, I think this is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. At least that's what I hear. And I'm really looking forward to it. I love Rumpelstiltskin. And I love retellings when they're good. And I love winter. So <laughs> this was perfect. Spinning Silver. And next we have three or more people on the cover. Thank you, Jordan, <laughs> because we have Lan, we have Moraine, and we have whoever the fuck this is. I mean, this art is dreadful, so. I think this is like Tom, and it's terrible, <laughs> but it's still three or more people on the cover, so it counts, and I cherish this copy with all my heart because it was a giveaway win, as you maybe know already from one of my other videos, so. Thank you, Robert Jordan, and your original terrible artwork saved my ass. <laughs> then next we have written by two more authors. The first thing that I saw was Saga by Brian K. Vaughan and what the woman's name. That was two authors, but I went with Penny Dreadful's Sensational Tales of Terror because it's a comprised compendium. It's like definitely more than one author it's like 20 of them I think so it counts it was written by more than one author it was compiled by one guy but we're gonna ignore that for now because I didn't want to pull Saga off the shelf it's really heavy so yeah Penny Dreadfuls it counts it's more than one author to name a few we've got Richard Thompson Mary Shelley Wilkie Collins Arthur Conan Doyle so yes it counts <laughs> and we're down to our last few. Graphic novel. Clearly I have many, but I had to pull out V for Vendetta because I'd already used Watchmen and I mean V for Vendetta is my favorite graphic novel of all time. One of my favorite books of all time, period. So yeah, it had to be featured in this one and it's definitely a graphic novel as you can, as you can see and it's phenomenal. So if you haven't read it, read it like immediately. It's everything. And then I used a very <laughs> strange book for the next prompt, which I'm trying to see which prompt it is. Yeah, a book that was turned into a movie. Sorry, I was just reading it off. I'm, my brain is fried today. A book that was turned into a movie. We have the classic works of Robert Louis Stevenson because this has Treasure Island, which was definitely made into a movie, but it's called... Treasure Planet, which is by Disney. Very underrated. Excellent cartoon. It's beautiful, lovely, heart heartwarming. I love it so much. So, I had many obvious choices, but I went with Treasure Island because I know that it's... The movie was definitely based on Treasure Island. So, we've got Stevenson, and this is also a very new book that I bought. 
it was on sale. So we have Robert Louis Stevenson and definitely not an answer you expected probably. So yes, it's sort of on the line of being cheating, but we're not going to count it as cheating in this house. <laughs> and then the last book that we have finally reached the ending. So between 500 and 510 pages long, this gave me so many headaches. I was pissed off, eager to get it over with, when I finally found salvation in King's Cage. <laughs> I was so happy. I mean, this has exactly, exactly 507 pages, and I was so thrilled because I think this was the most annoying challenge to have to fulfill. So, as you can see, the spine is absolutely obliterated for this book because I read it so many times back then. And I have to reread it soon because I've been doing sort of the subtle reread of the series, even though I think I read the first book like two months ago. But this was definitely a favorite. I can't wait to revisit it. And today, it saved me from suffering through the worst prompt of this challenge. So yes, this is the final book. It completes my misery. And yes, this was a fun challenge to do, even though it was very nerve-wracking. So I'm looking forward to making the other one soon. And hopefully this was, albeit chaotic, but I think you enjoyed it because I know I love watching videos like this. But if you didn't enjoy it, you probably didn't even watch it till this point. So, good on you. Yes, so, I just checked the time. It was like 20 minutes that I was looking for it. And <laughs> that's long, I know, but here we are. It is what it is. So, I failed the challenge, sort of. I didn't have all the prompts. But again, I hope it was enjoyable and... I will definitely see you in my next video because I'm starting university now and who knows when I'm going to have time to upload. So pre-filmed videos are definitely going to be my new reality. So I keep saying that word. I will see you in my next video.